On the question of identity and the role of religion, there actually hasn't been that much change. So you found both among all the countries and then also in Egypt itself on this divide about whether religion should be respected and the, but the clergy shouldn't dictate the political system vis-a-vis -vis versus clergy should have more of a voice, there hasn't been much change. Yes, and, and I think it's interesting. I mean, uh, and, and identity is something I study over the past decade. Um, from 2009 to 2011, there isn't substantial change, a little bit of a change that we have to analyze a little bit more carefully. But over the past decade, there has been a change where uh, the ide identification with the state has dropped over time. Uh, and, uh, and, and more people identify themselves as Muslim and some Arab, but transnational identification has trumped the state identification over time. And my theory about that is that two, twofold. Uh, one is um, that you know, they identify the state in part with the government. So you know, if, you, if, you're, if Gaddafi is all they know, the government is Gaddafi. If Mubarak is all they know, the, the, the state is the, the ruler. And so when you become angry with the ruler, you become very, uh, you don't raise your head, as Egyptians said. Uh, but then why wouldn't it have bumped up this year? Uh, and I, because as they I, feel they have, are beginning to have some ownership of their Because of government. the countries that we have conducted polls in, only Egypt, Right. Only Egypt has had that, and it's still in transition. Uh, and it's, it's too early to tell you know, whether it's going to have an impact or not.